Okay, well then, now that we've finally got all our life ups, I'm sure there can I... Where is the last sub tank? Now, there is one last sub-tank in the game, though we won't be able to get it until after, um, if I remember correctly, this mission. Now... To do... Uh, I just realized I left this on. I turned it on just in case. Just because I've been having some <laughs> kind of bad luck during this stream. But yeah, um... To get the last sub tank, you have to do a side quest for the nurse... For the doctor and the nurse on, um... And by doctor, I mean the actual medical doctor, not the, um... Scientist who fixes the biometals. But you gotta do a side quest for them... In this... That involves going to this next area we're going to and getting items. Um, you do that if you t it actually is a bit tedious, because I believe it's actually up to luck if you get the sub-tank. Because they have a couple different rewards. At least, if, from what I remember. I could be remembering incorrectly. Let's see, where am I with the sub-tanks? Three. I don't think I'll need the fourth sub tank. And yes, to get to this last area, this area with the last piece of Model P, we have to go through the old area. Why? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I forgot this was luck what drops. At least I still got the health, which is what I wanted. We're back in the amusement park. Yeah, um... I'm trying to think here, uh... Oh, fuck. There was something I was going to say about this next one. You know, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about, about my love for the ZX. So, yeah, no, the ZX games are actually really good. I do like the Metroidvania aspect they do got going on. And I do think it's developed very well into ZX Advent. And ZX itself is a very solid game. It's not like, if I'm going to be honest, the Zero franchise work. The only reason I'd recommend playing Zero, 1, and 2 is the story, and because honestly the gameplay for it is completely outshone by Zero, 3. And Zero, 4 is also really good. What the fuck? What the fuck's with that mentor? If I'm correct, the boss has respawned. Yep. Either way, we were going through this, we'd be refining a boss. I'd honestly rather refight this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot it does this!
And that's all we had to do. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest, this one makes no sense. Like, how these two areas are connected. Yeah, I actually do really like the, this mission, though, because... You have her saying, this place is under attack, and normally we'd be like, oh, we'll just pack it full of mechanoids. But here, it's like, we actually see them dro airdropping more in. It's a little detail, but it's nice. Shit. Just gotta remember if I game over that I gotta load instead of continue. All my sub tanks full? Nice! Okay, what I'm gonna do now is. Because I really. I don't think I've shown off just like how versatile all the biometals are. Because I'm be honest, I always default to ZX. Because, well. ZX. If I remember correctly, ZX is called the ultimate biometal. And it kinda is. Because with the exception of maneuverability, it isn't really outshone by the others. Oh yeah, this. So, yeah. So yeah, if you run into those, uh, yeah. So if you run to the blue waves, you can't, um, well, no, if you run to the blue waves, your controls are reversed. The red waves, what is up there? That's a secret desk. The red waves shut down all your weapons. Eh? Okay, there we go. A neat little gimmick, but I hate it at the same time. And that's why, also, none of the other biomels get this spin slice. Also, while you're under the effects of the blue wave, you cannot dash. Basically making HX useless. I'll be perfectly honest, I think there's an issue in all the ZX games where ZX just utterly breaks everything. Though, less so in Advent? Yeah. Fuck! Why does that keep happening? It's like, the minute my foot gets caught, it's like my jump just doesn't... Oh, shit. No. I'll live with it. If I game over, I'll live with it. It just means I'll have to be extra careful, that's all.
says he's gonna be extra careful as he proceeds to get hit by every damn rocket on the field. Funny thing is, with all the chaos of this area, you'd expect the boss to be like one of the hardest in the game. I mean, in the game. Oh shit! But to be honest, and actually, no, I'm I'm not gonna finish that sentence because I know the minute I finish it, that I'm going to game over to this boss. Charge up everything. There we go. The model P pseudoroid protect. Okay, so when he does this, stand behind him. Because as you can see, that, that explosion's big. I think that instant kills. I actually am not sure if it instant kills. Because I'll be honest, I've, I don't think I've actually ever been hit by it. I'll take the level. I'll be honest, this guy is bullshit to level 4. Because his whole weak point is pretty much the only place of him that could be hit. You have to, like, headshot him every time, I think, to not hit the weak point. It's it's stupid. Bioma report classification number five 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 nine one three. Chosen one. So this is one for us. But with that we have now obtained every biometal and has restored them all to full power.
turn back to Guardian HQ.